We present I'm sorry I haven't a clue. For someone called Cryer, he created so much laughter. Our next round is entitled Limericks. It's, uh, it's very discreet. It starts at his feet. <laughs> Once he started joking, he never stopped. His comedy career lasted more than 65 years. And now here's the man in charge of the game, your chairman, Barry Cryer. Good evening. Born in Leeds, a young Barry Cryer came to London performing at nightclubs in Soho, but his talent for a joke was soon spotted by the comedy greats. His writing credits feature on the funniest shows of the time, the two Ronnies, Bob Hope, Tommy Cooper. Morecambe and Wise even kept on his talents when they switched from the BBC to ITV. Leading the tribute, Stephen Fry, who called him one of the absolute greats of British comedy. Glorious, gorgeous, and hilariously gifted. And David Baddiel said simply, Cryer lived and breathed comedy. Towards the end, his stand-up became more sit-down. The parrot swore a lot and annoyed his owner. And the owner said, are you going to behave yourself? And the parrot said, why don't you? So he said, that's it. Because a friend had recommended that he put the parrot in the fridge for five minutes. It would get the message. So he put the parrot in the fridge for five minutes, took it out, and said, you're going to behave yourself. And the parrot said, oh, all right. And the parrot looked back in the fridge and said, what did that chicken do? Funny, until the very end, Barry Cryer was 86. <laughs>